The launch command has been issued. Standing by for main engine start. Second umbilical retracted. We have main engine ignition. Three, two, one. Turbo pumps up to flight speed. Maximum thrust and liftoff. Liftoff of the 60th Progress Resupply Vehicle en route to the International Space Station. All structural parameters reported to be normal. Good roll pitch and yaw program initiated. Progress 60 heading to the northeast. Structural stability is reported to be normal from the blockhouse at Baikonur coming up on the one minute mark into the flight. Combustion and chamber pressures are normal. Everything looking good so far. Good roll pitch and yaw program. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight, everything is normal. The Soyuz passing through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, all structural parameters are normal. Standing by for first stage separation. First stage separation has been confirmed. The Progress 60 atop the uh, Soyuz booster, 30 miles in altitude, 73 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Two and a half minutes into the flight, structural stability is reported to be normal. Second stage uh, engines are up and running in good shape. According to the blockhouse at Baikonur, everything looking good so far, approaching the three minute mark into the flight. The launch shroud has been jettisoned, exposing uh, the progress resupply vehicle. All of the uh, booster parameters are normal. Stability is steady. Reports coming uh, from the uh, blockhouse at Baikonur. Everything is looking good. There's that view from the balcony camera at the uh, Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov. They will take over control of the flight of the Progress at third stage separation after the Progress is delivered into its preliminary orbit. Four minutes into the flight, uh, vehicle stability is reported to be normal. Second stage thrusters continue to fire normally. We're about uh, 40 seconds away from second stage shutdown and separation. Roll, pitch and yaw, all the parameters are normal. Nearing the end, the end of the uh, second stage performance, everything is reported to be normal.
Second stage separation is confirmed right on time. The lower skirt has been jettisoned from the third stage. Third stage engine up and running, five minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. The uh, Soyuz booster, 104 miles in altitude, 179 miles downrange from the uh, Baikonur Cosmodrome. Third stage engine performance reported to be normal. Control systems are all normal. Third stage performance is nominal. Everything looking good so far. Coming up on the six minute mark into the flight. Mark six minutes into the flight. The Progress 60 continues to track right down the money, right down the center line. Yaw, roll, and pitch parameters are normal. About two and a half minutes of powered flight remaining. Third stage engine continues uh, to run normally. Structural parameters are normal. Seven minutes into the flight, everything continues to go very well. The launch was right on time at 11.55 and 48 seconds p.m. Central Time, 10.55 and 48 seconds a.m. Baikonur Time on July 3rd. Third stage engine uh, continues to operate normally. Structural parameters are Excellent, according uh, to the reports from the black blockhouse at Baikonur. Seven minutes, 45 seconds into the flight. About one more minute of powered flight for the Soyuz booster's upper stage. Everything continues uh, to perform normally in the final minute of powered flight. All control system parameters are normal for the third stage of the Soyuz booster. About 30 seconds of powered flight remaining. Third stage engine performance continues uh, to function as advertised as we stand by for third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. We have third stage shutdown and separation, spacecraft separation confirmed. Navigational antennas have been deployed, standing by for solar array deploy. And we have confirmation of the deployment of the Progress 60's solar arrays and navigational antennas. The Progress 60 now in great shape in its preliminary orbit, beginning its two-day trip to the International Space Station. Everything went by the book.
At the uh, Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov, uh, the shift flight director is reporting uh, that everything is looking great on the Progress 60 cargo craft. And you can see uh, this view from uh, the television camera that was just uh, deployed on the Progress. Everything very stable. Everything is nominal. A flawless ride to orbit atop uh, the Soyuz booster, all three stages uh, performed as advertised. An uneventful ride uh, to deliver the Progress to its preliminary orbit and the start of a two-day journey to the International Space Station. After the Progress docks to the pier's docking compartment on the Earth-facing port of the Russian segment of the station in the wee hours Sunday, there will be a, a series of leak checks that will be conducted by Station Commander Gennady Padalka and Flight Engineer Mikhail Kornienko. The uh, hatch uh, to the Progress resupply vehicle uh, will be opened Sunday morning. The crew not scheduled to begin unloading its cargo until early Monday morning. We have not heard anything from the crew on board the International Space Station. They uh, were scheduled to be asleep at the time of launch, not scheduled to be awakened until about 50 minutes from now. No doubt um, if they were watching uh, the uplink of the broadcast uh, to them, which was provided, uh, they are certainly happy and relieved that the Progress 60 uh, made it to orbit uh, in a nominal fashion and is now en route to deliver more than three tons of food, fuel, and supplies to them with an arrival in the early morning hours on Sunday. The International Space Station is currently traveling 250 miles above the Earth uh, at the border of Kazakhstan and Russia. Three weeks from now, a crew will be headed to the International Space Station to augment the trio that is currently on board the orbital outpost, re-upping uh, the crew to its normal complement of six people. Here in uh, the International Space Station Flight Control Room in Houston, uh, Flight Director Brian Smith uh, has passed along his congratulations to his uh, shift flight director counterpart at the uh, Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov for a job well done. The Progress 60 safely en route uh, to the International Space Station. And again, you're looking at uh, video from the uh, television camera on the Progress as it uh, has begun its chase to catch the International Space Station for docking in an automated fashion in the early morning hours on Sunday. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, as uh, the progress uh, begins to pass out of range of Russian ground stations, uh, you were watching uh, some video from its external camera. 
the same camera that you'll see activated on uh, Sunday morning during the final phase of its rendezvous for its automated docking to the International Space Station's Piers Docking Compartment. Uh, just a recap here, uh, the launch occurred right on time from the Baikonur Cosmodrome as the Soyuz U-Class booster lifted off at 11.55 and 48 seconds p.m. Central Time, 10.55 and 48 seconds a.m. in Baikonur on July 3rd. 90 degree Fahrenheit uh, temperatures, clear skies, a cloudless sky at the Cosmodrome as uh, the Soyuz took flight uh, from Site 1, Yuri Gagarin's launch pad on an 8 minute 46 second trip to deliver the uh, progress from the third stage of the Soyuz booster. Spacecraft uh, separation was nominal and all of the solar arrays and navigational antennas on the Progress 60 deployed as advertised and uh, the reports uh, from the Russian Mission Control Center have been uh, perfect. All of the systems on the Progress in excellent shape. Throughout uh, the rest of the day today on Friday, uh, there will be uh, three engine firings, uh, rendezvous burns, if you will, uh, pre-programmed uh, burns of the Progress's engine uh, to begin uh, increasing its altitude and fine-tuning its path to the International Space Station. Uh, it will be a very late Saturday night uh, that the automated rendezvous sequence will begin uh, that will begin uh, the Progress's closure on the International Space Station for a final fly around of the complex and uh, its alignment with the Piers Docking Compartment for its uh, link up at 2.13 a.m. Central Time on Sunday morning.